Good morning and praise the Lord, lovely people of the Most High God. How are we doing today? I trust the Lord that He's blessed us with many blessings. My name is Brother Day and I welcome you to Live Seeds on OST. Thank you very much for having given us opportunity to be a blessing and share the word of God. Let us share a word of prayer. We thank you, most gracious Father, for gracing us throughout this life and for making sure that your word is established in our lives. We thank you. Open our understanding to receive your word and let your word bring transformation that will last in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Today I want us to talk about a message that I have themed first things first. First things first. And we will take this inspiration from Matthew chapter 13. And we will take from the parable of the wheat and tares. The parable of the wheat and tares, which parable is very popular about a man who sows seeds in his field. And the Bible said that in that night, whilst men slept, the enemy of the man came and sowed tares among them. So it came to a time that when the wheat sprouted, they sprang up, the wheat also appeared. Then the servants of the man came to him. And this is where I want us to be in, uh, cautious of. Man, the servants of the man comes to the man and asks him that, Sir, did you not sow good seeds in the field? Why are these tests here? Let's pay attention. What the servants are telling the man is that, We have seen tests in your field and we want to examine to know why the seeds, uh, the, uh, the tares are in the field. And the first question they want to know is whether the man did not sow good seeds. That is, they are saying that the first way that if you want tares in a field, then you only have to sow seeds which are bad. When you sow bad seeds, you will find tares in your field. We later got to know that it was the enemy of the man who came to sow. But what the servants are telling the man is that one, the first way to have tests is that you sow bad seeds and the next thing is that you have somebody else coming to sow tests in your field. And this morning I want us to look at first things first. Before we think about somebody who is out there an enemy who comes to sow in tests in our field, the first thing we must examine in our life is whether we are sowing with seeds. Very important. I know that we are quick to say that it is a witch somewhere which is causing our failure. I know that we, we want to pray and clap and kill all the witches because we believe that every failure in our lives, every tear in our life is caused by them. No, some tears are caused because we refuse or we have intentionally refused to sow good seeds in our lives. So check your life, check your routines. You want success in business. How consistent are you with the business? Before you blame any household witch, before you blame your enemies, please ask yourself, cross this threshold first. Are you sowing bad seeds in your life? You are in ministry. Are you sowing good seeds in your life? Check yourself first. Check your character first before thinking that it is the devil somewhere who is seeking your downfall. You might be the one. So just examining to know that I am not sowing good seeds and that is why I'm having tests in my life. That is why I seem to retrogress whenever I make any attempt to push forward. Then you know that the deliverance starts from it does not start by handing any external enemy anywhere. First things first. I want you to take time today, examine yourself where you are having challenges and ask yourself, are you sowing good seeds? And I know that the Lord will help us that even if it needs that we, the change starts from us, we will avail ourselves unto the Lord 
and with an open heart asking to help us. We will have a change of mind and a change of attitude which will bring us the needed results in our life. God bless you for making time for Life Seas today. My name is Brother Day. This is OS TV. I bring you Jesus, His works, and His works. I bring you life. Shalom.